Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, June 26th, 2022, and I'm going to give you an intro into what I am growing and how I'm growing it. Let's start off, I use the deep water culture method I'm using these five gallon container buckets. I fill them up with water and I have some bubblers putting air into them. You really can't see it all that well, but let's see if I can get that one going. This one may have a little better lighting in it. Let's see. Well, if you look down in this one, you can see it. And that's looking pretty pretty good. I mean, it's I just got one bubbler in there and it it's taking care of everything. If I were to open this up, you can see the root system in there. This is one that actually broke on me, and I just stuck the stem back in to uh, see if it would continue growing, and lo and behold, it did which is cool because it's not a waste and uh, you look at these plants they're still growing got them coming up there I'm mainly focused on peppers although I've grown a bunch of other stuff I got some really good looking Carolina Reapers coming in over here check those out Got them coming out all over these plants. These plants are so huge in here, I'm gonna have to do some pruning and switching some stuff around here. And back here I've got, these are my pepper plants. Most of them are based, you're just your basic hot jalapenos. And we got these down there. We got some of these going on. I already showed you those. We got these. Got all kinds of stuff growing on here. And as far as uh, ventilation goes, I have this one hole open and I have an, a fan on the outside of it that's blowing air inside so that there's a constant stream of fresh air coming in. And if you look at the top there, when the door's closed, you can actually feel the the uh, circulation coming through. So it's giving it its, you know, it's getting good circulation. Uh, the plants are getting moved around a little bit. And uh, right next to it, I got a camera. So if I don't want to open it up or I want to do some time-lapse videos, I can. I'll have some of those coming up sometime soon. I just got to decide what I want to grow. And uh, as far as heat goes, I keep it usually around 75 to 80 degrees. If it gets hotter, all the better. But this is a 3x3 three three tent, and I have it digitally set at 75 degrees. So if it goes below, if it goes below 70, I believe it is, it will automatically kick on but once it hits 75 we're, we're good to go and it shuts down until it starts to drop again because where I am at it's summertime and uh, it gets pretty hot I do not use a humidifier at the moment although I did in the winter time I wasn't having too much success because the humidity was just the air was so dry and once I got a humidifier things really took off so I'm still learning some little tricks right here I got a uh, a ghost pepper plant that I started I didn't think this thing would ever take off but it has it's not producing anything yet but it will be soon and also I cover these up these holes because if you don't, 
the light will develop algae and you don't want that so what I do is I just take a little tin foil and just put it right over the right over the hole which in these cases I don't even really need them I mean there's so much uh, foliage on there it's there's no light coming through so my next video you'll probably see this thing pruned down and some of these plants may be even gone and I will uh, have started something else before I forget show you the temperature unit I'm using here Got an ink bird you can hook it up to through your phone to control it and right now I have it set at 75 and it's only 72 according to the the meter but that's because the door is open once I close the door it'll shoot right back up and the heater will shut off and uh, here's that little fan I was telling you about it's blowing it blows air in there 24 7 Got a nice uh, supply of oxygen going into the plants while they're creating oxygen. And uh, that's about it for this episode and this uh, video. Again, this is just a, uh, a Viper Spectra tent. It's only a 3x3 three three tent, which I thought would be big enough, but I think I'm going to have to invest in a bigger tent because. My plants are getting out of hand, and I got a lot more I got going on. So, look for upcoming videos. Like and subscribe. Comment. You know what to do.